of enraged certain Christians, you know what, because Allah says in the Quran, you know what the Christians are saying, but it shows the level they're stooping down to that their principles of Jesus is love. Somebody snap you, you say, hey, snap this side. And you can see the desperation. Where that's coming from is this, our Christian. Oh, okay, okay. We're a peace of Christ to all of you. Look at this coward. You see, when the Muslims, the Muslims, when they when they see somebody slamming them in the face, they say, why well, you don't become a Christian? I thought Jesus said, don't do that. So, according to their understanding, you are a Christian only if they can slam you in your face. Only. And this is a very wrong understanding of the Bible. My friend, uh, you are not my friend, but I'm saying everybody. My friends, listen carefully. Jesus, he never said, let someone like the Abdul slam you, ever. Never. And never let anyone do that to you. This is not what the teaching of Jesus is. Jesus was teaching not to be evil like them. As an example, they make a video, cutting my voice, putting it together. We do not do that. They are evil like their prophet. We don't do what they do. This is what he said. Don't do what they do. So we will not let a little tiny Abdul like you explain the Bible for us. And this is why you are angry, because we spank you. Tell us more. Some of them are upset with us. Why are you upset with us? Why? We come here and give power. I don't insult your religion. He you don't insult our religion. <laughs> he don't, uh, a Muslim, he don't, uh, that's me, you are not a Muslim. Thank you very much. You see, it's a very clear sign that this guy and Mimi Hijab, they are a coward puppy. What is the clear sign is when a Muslim he denied that Islam order him to insult others, to call the Christians and the Jews filthy pigs, uh, worse than animals, al 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 you know, all those names is in the Quran. And yet this guy he says, we don't insult you, you, you know, we are doing dawah. In Islam there is nothing is called dawah. In Islam is, dawah is only a word that appears when you are weak and you are like acting like a puppy, playing victim. Now let us see if you are a treaty a Muslim or not. Isn't it, this is your Quran, this is your prophet saying that if you see any Christian in the road or a Jew, you have to walk him, to force him to walk in the sewage. What happened to you, Mimi Lili Dawa, Mimi Hijab and his nurse? What happened to the Muslims who they are forcing the Christians to walk in the sewage? These days you are the one who is walking in the sewage and look at you like acting like a puppy. You are literally acting like a puppy, playing victim. You play a video, look what he's doing to our sister. You know what I did to your sister. What I did. Hey, we will talk about that later. Hold on. So look how he washed his hands from the teaching of his prophet. He washed his hand from the teaching of Muhammad because he is not proud about it. So this is the taqiyah. I am ashamed in front of you to be... A Muslim so I claim to be different kind of Muslim is not exist isn't it the Quran said that the Christians Allah he put humiliation on them and actually you are the one who quote for us this verse you potato but why you don't quote for us the verse before it shame is bitch on them over them Allah he put a shame on us to be humiliated <laughs> So a Muslim believe that Allah, it's his duty to do the order of Allah. This is why in the Quran it says, قَاتِلُوهُمْ يُعَذِّبُهُمْ اللَّهُ بِأَيْدِيكُمْ Fight them, Allah, he tortured them by your hands. So when you quote for us this verse saying they are not the same, he's talking about what? About those Christians who converted to Islam. Do you see it? Or those who approve Muhammad to be a prophet. And those are a fraud. They are not Christians. So you are a fraud like your prophet. You are a fraud like your prophet. Now look at the fraud, Lily, what he will say to us. He is going to give us a, a, like a, a clear evidence that not only he is a prophet, as a child molester. He will say to you, well, the Bible teaches child, child molestation too. So he, you know, and look, 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 look at the stupid idea. Let us say for the sake of argument, you are saying so, but that's mean your prophet is still is a child molester. That will make two child molester, not one. Did not fix it. <laughs> Don't kill like your prophet. Continue. Yeah, I don't insult your religion. All I do is say your trinity doesn't make sense. Mm. I'm not insulting. I'm just saying, look, it doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, you're right. Now, if this is causing people to leave Christianity, why are you... If, 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 if Ali Dawah, he speak, he say uh, the trinity does not make sense, people leave Christianity. 
is it you who made videos asking for donations by tens of thousands of of pounds because more than a hundred thousand live in Islam a year is it you or me your video is there you coward potato so if you are making people convert to Islam so why you are crying about brother sister we need donation by the way why, why the donation how the donation will fix that it took you 40 minutes to install your camera and you have a camera for ten dollars and TV for four hundred dollars. What are you? What? What are you doing with this money? Forty minutes to install the camera. It's just a block and play. Running away from me, claiming you want to debate me, potato. So, either you agree that you did lie about saying one hundred thousand leaving Islam a year in your video asking for donations, and this is a video all over, and you ask about you said that many times, or what you are saying is true. That you say to people, Christianity, Trinity does not make sense, and people right away leave Christianity. I mean, by thousands. That's it. Ali Dawa, he go there in the street, he say Christianity does not make sense. Bingo! In two seconds, and then he will say to them, Elijah is God with us. <laughs> Tell us more. Attacking me. I'm saying, look, am I to blame if I come and say the Trinity, the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, does not make sense. Now, because of that, Christianity is declining. Okay. Now, because of that, uh, let, let me tell you what this makes sense. It makes sense that your God, he ordered your sister uh, to give her boobs and to suckle an adult man. I mean, that is God. You know, when the Muslims speak about the Trinity, just to show you how silly this uh, this uh, questioning, how come the Muslims, they don't question how Allah sat in the chair? I mean, they don't even dare to question simple, stupid things. But they dare to question the nature of God in Christianity. They don't dare to question the nature of their God in Islam. Do you know that the God of Islam is not a spirit and he have a body? How that can be? How you are, you have no spirit and you have a body still you are alive. They don't dare to question. How God is God, yet he have five fingers in every hand, two hands and legs. He's a physical being. So, okay, God, Allah is one, but the Quran is not created. And Allah is not a creator, so now we have two uncreated. Makes sense. <laughs> Allah is God, but he says stupid things. The Quran is full of it. Allah is God, but he thinks the man, he, his sperm is coming from the backbone, and the woman's sperm is coming from the ribs. And the sun set in murky water. And he don't even remember which day he created first, the earth or the heaven, or which day he created first, the trees or the stars. That makes sense. And now he will make more sense. Listen carefully. What they do is this. They say, okay, okay, what can we do about this? Nothing. I know what we're going to do. They are causing people to leave Christianity. We'll do the same. How would I? We'll stand up. Your prophet married Aisha at six, etc. Look, you can say that. If you're going to say that, in your own book, Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the same God who said that, take little girls in the book of Deuteronomy for yourselves. See, the, everybody can go and read it and you will see, he's, you are a scam like your prophet. You are a scam. You see, even the word scam, it doesn't it, it doesn't describe your prophet. And this, look, look at your face. <laughs> it says that. It's, you stupid idiot. Don't you think people, they can go read the verse? I mean, and look. You get you get busted in front of everybody. They open the verse and they read it for you. I can go down that route, but I'm not gonna go down that route. Anyway, I will, this is a, this is the video from Soko a Film for people who like to subscribe to their videos. Go ahead and support those guys. Those are good guys. Uh, uh, but let us go. You know, forget about uh, this uh, later. Our brother here, he will get him busted. He will read the verse for him, and when they arrive. He get him busted. He said, it doesn't say that you are a liar. Then the other guy, he came and took him away. So clearly we see from the start, actually the Lord's instruction was to kill them all. Why? Because of they had led the Israelites into idolatry. And we know and we know idolatry is, is a capital punishment under Israelite law. So therefore we're seeing that God has instructed as per the Lord of Moses shake, shake. that the punishment for idolatry is death. So then when the people were taken to Moses, Moses was shocked that they had left these people alive. Yeah, we but then, just tell this Moses, dirty boy, wait, this Lord, this Lord. Well, what? <laughs> dirty. Now, when he's had a sex of nine-year-old child, that's a dirty. Who's Lord? Who's so, Lord? Wait, wait, wait. Lord. now, so, that's a dirty. now, yeah. can you, yeah. I'm going to answer, but now yeah. I want him to admit it was Moses 
not God that instructed them? Because that was your initial no, statement. So can you can like, you yes, correct yourself? No, your no, initial no, statement. This is what we're gonna correct. Go to verse one and just repeat it, please. Just verse one. Not okay. okay. No, 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 no. Okay. It says, "The Lord said to Moses." They will take him away. <laughs> the other coward, potato. They took him away in the run. <laughs> He is taken to him on his way to hell. He took him on his way to hell. Yeah, but anyway, you see, just to make it, uh, you know, uh, when the when you speak to me about a God, and He is one God, He is one or two or three. Who care? It, the question if He is true or not. Let us say there is somebody worshipped ten gods, but they are exist. Then He's right. So this stupidity, when they say the Trinity does not make sense, it's a stupidity because it's not you who decide what God is. And we are the one who believe in one God, not you. However, I want to ask you, and you Muslims, you, you know, all those cowards who claim that they have dignity. If you are upset for a Christian prince because your sister, she said to him, uh, uh, or he said to your sister, sorry, uh, are you willing to suckle me? Suckle me. Look. Look, Christian Prince, he says to our sister, suckle me, you stupid idiot. I was doing what the prophet said. Don't you see it? It's your prophet who order women to suckle adult men. Otherwise, a woman, your mother, Mimi Hijab, and your mother, Ali Dawa, she is not allowed to go in the bus or in the train without suckling every single individual there. And I challenge you to say this not true. And what was the purpose of this suckling? This man who is a strange man, is the way for him to be able to associate with her. So if you, your sister, she want to talk to me, before she talk to me, according to your prophet, she have to suckle me. Let me prove it to you. Let me show you how filthy the one God you, you worship and the one prophet you you, you, you you believe is God. This is the hadith about Sahla bin Suhail. And not only that, Aisha, she was practicing that too. If we go to the hadith of Aisha, you will see Aisha, she is practicing the suckling and ordering her nieces and her sisters to suckle anyone when I enter upon her. Do you see it? So, in order for me to visit Mimi Hijab, I have to suckle all his family females. For sure, I will not do that. I will get sick. God knows what they have. But in order for Mimi Hijab to have Ali Da'wah in his house, and his wife to serve coffee in the house, she have to suckle him. As you see, if they are saying this is not true and this is a lie, here we go. This is Aisha, the mother of the believers, ordering her sisters and the niece of her sisters to suckle any man when I enter upon her. It's in the front of your eyes. What a disgusting, filthy cult. And right away they like to play victim. When in fact it's their sister who was speaking filthy, not me. I was just answering her. I never spoke about this. I was talking about kissing Blackstone. And then their sister, she said about Jesus doing what? No, no, you you no, must have no. kissed his stones, right? Why Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kissed the stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse, actually, ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs? You must be okay. You, you, see, you see, guys. You see, guys. You see, guys. You see how you see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Not, Look what she said. Like okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played with his mother boobs. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he blame. Listen, listen, you are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay, you're, you, listen, you're a liar, number one. Number two, it's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Can I suckle Can you? I suckle Can I suckle you? you? Can, Can I suckle, I suckle you? you? So you see the coward, they cut the video and they play this part only. Gee, Christian prince saying to create to a Muslim women, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, a Christian predator, a sexual predator, you know. What a filthy low class you are. A dirty low class. People are laughing at you. But by saying that, you agreed that the one who says such a thing is a filthy. The one who do such a thing 
is a sexual predator and the one what about the one who teach it and practice it that is the muslims and their prophet abdu not me i never went to a woman i was reading for her what her prophet saying and not only that she challenged me yes if this is a true she will suckle me until now I'm, she did not do it <laughs> so look at them they mentioned in the video christian bruce did you see did that to our sister i said to them this is i was reading for her what your stupid prophet said and yes your prophet must be a very filthy stupid person to say such a statement what kind of a man he order women to give their breast to a stranger what kind of religion and the funny this uh, uh, Lily Lily Dawa he speak about a Christian prince come and uh, wear, wear burqa your your boss his last name is burqa and the Middle East they don't give them a name unless they deserve it trust me in the Middle East they give you a name based on who you are your last name is is a given to you you are not the one who chose it which mean if somebody call you a, a, a rat if you find somebody his last name is rat that means this is it was an insult people they consider them like rats if somebody his last name is burqa that's mean they are like women for in the middle eastern and in the same time just to show you're ignorant isn't it the quran says that allah he never spoke to anyone unless he wear a burqa you coward potato so i am your god allah speaking to you from behind the veil so if being behind the veil is a shame here we go your god allah he never speak unless he is behind the veil do you see it? This is an excuse. I spoke to you face to face or mic to mic will not make any difference. Still, you cannot debate me and you did not even dare to let me talk. More than five to six times you hang up on me and you muted me because you didn't dare. And when you say to me, did you say that to our sister? Did you say that? Take off your panty. Yeah, It's your prophet who said take off your panty. She is a bad woman and she is not uh, her mouth is dirty like your prophet so I was saying to her well isn't it your prophet he said you can do muta we spoke about the verse she said no there's no muta this is your prophet any man any woman they like to enjoy each other boom boom three days three night and look the Muslim false translation they add the word temporarily marriage it doesn't say marry temporarily this is a lie where the word marry temporarily i mean have you ever heard of a of this is only even those those uh, those those phrases you can find only in cult can be exist in a pimp house in thailand temporarily hey brother we have a we have a house here we have a lot of girls you can marry them temporarily to uh, ten dollars an hour <laughs> so take off your panty lily hijab and lily dawa because obviously if you are not a panty people you will not follow the panty prophet even his promises about heaven is about panties the man his penis will be 70 uh, sorry not 70 his his uh, orgasm 70 years uh, long 70 years and his penis will be endless penis endless imagine you live in china and your penis is in Chicago <laughs> so those potato cars we get them busted download the video share it to everybody and here guy by the way by mentioning those topics those Abdul they expose their prophet because he said and not me that the one who say such a thing is a sexual predator the one who say to a woman suckle me is a sexual predator so what about the one who said suckle him is he a sexual predator obviously yes because the one who do it and the one who teach it they are the same actually the one who teach it is more guilty from the one who do it suckle him so if i say to a muslim woman suckle me that will make me bad muhammad hijab he said yes because you are following the teaching of our filthy prophet the filthy muhammad the fraud the child molester <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, 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 don't forget to uh, download the video and share it with your friends as you know we don't keep our videos in our channel and uh, share them with everybody and let those me they, they will never dare to debate me never this is why they have it set up like in, in a very funny child way did you say that did you you read for us in arabic read read uh, he do not know how to read and you know like and if i read for them who is going to be the judge them 
<laughs> Unbelievable. What a comedy. Anyway, they are funny, they are stupid, but I'm really I'm, I'm thankful that they are stupid to this point, I mean to this level, because the more they show their stupidity, the more people they laugh at this cult. And by saying that the one who says, suckle, suckle me, he is a sexual predator, that's mean Muhammad is a sexual predator, for he is the one who said, suckle him. I was read, I think he was talking about me. Suckle him. <laughs> so if I go to the sister of Mimi Hijab and I say, Hey sister, can you suckle me? Because the Prophet says so, Mimi Hijab, he will say, Sexual predator, sexual predator. <laughs> Take care, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to our channels and to and support all the good guys who they uh, do the good work. Uh, exposing this filthy cult. This is a filthy cult. You see, when you see people, they are willing to cut videos and make a, a false a false statement. Everybody knows that I was speaking to this woman, we were debating, and she is the one who called me, and she is a growing woman, and she is the one who mentioned something very filthy about Jesus playing with his mother boobs, as she said, and he was a guy, as she said. So they cut, they, they cut, and they, 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 you know, they are filthy, they are filthy. They have, they have no limitation of how filthy they can go and this is an additional proof that if you are following god he's one or ten we don't care if your god is good you should do good but look what you did you cut a video i christian prince each time he go in line he say penis he say panty he say vagina because i'm reading quran islam is filthy my friend islam is filthy So how I will speak holiness as long as I'm reading about your filthy prophet teaching. Garbage in, garbage out. So don't put your faith on me. I'm reading your faith. And faith in and faith out. And we are here to expose your faith. Thank you, everyone. And may the Lord bless you. Please download the video. Share it with everyone. And sorry for making it a little bit longer than what I wanted to be. Take care. Bye-bye.